stitch 12 is a gathering stitch. Now I'm gonna show you how we can use a gathering stitch and stitch over cord. Because of the way this stitches, it's gonna stitch like on both sides of the cord, which is really nice. But I'm gonna use an optional foot. It's actually a manual buttonhole foot. It doesn't come with your machine, but it has the grooves that I love to use. The grooves in the bottom are gonna help hold the two cords nice and even, and this toe on the front is gonna help do all the work for me. Let me show you how this works. Now this stitch is another stitch I like to do decoratively, especially when I'm using a variegated thread or a double needle. So it's one that I sometimes uh, go to and I kind of uh, make it different lengths and get different looks. So I'm gonna take some cord here. So I'm gonna just take it so it's about, oh, about a foot long, well actually two feet long, because I'm gonna divide it in half. This is a great way to gather very heavy fabrics instead of having to sew it down two times. Now I would prefer a ruffler or a gathering foot, but for really heavy fabrics, a ruffler is gonna be your, your, your option. But what I've done is I've just hooked it around the front of the toe and then I've put both the threads underneath the foot and out the back side. Watch what it's gonna do. As it starts to stitch forward, it's gonna drag both those cords with us as it holds onto the front of the toe. And so you just have to make sure you have twice as long plus a little bit extra of the cords for the full length of fabric that you're actually doing. What you're gonna wanna probably do is take your hand back here and just kinda keep the fabric from gathering up. I mean, I know that's what it's gonna do anyway, but it kinda helps it move through the machine. The stitch is actually going down the middle and it's gonna jump out to the right, back to the center for one stitch and out to the left and back to the center for the next stitch. So we'll just go ahead and go to, to that point. We're gonna go ahead and lift it up off the little toe here and cut our threads. Now being that you have this little loop on this end, when you go to pull your threads on the opposite end, that's gonna, and not your threads, the cord that we just stitched over. See how pretty that stitch is? And it's not been stitched into the cord, so it makes it so it gathers up really nice. And if this was heavy, heavy home deck fabric, it's gonna just, slide along those threads super easy and then you can get it to be all adjusted for the setting and fullness that you're after and that makes it really easy to gather up. Even if you need it, a lot of gathers, you can really give it a good pull and it will be perfectly set and none of those threads are gonna break because you've stitched over the cord.